Everybody, if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. And I think there's a there's a bell there too. Ring that for more YouTube content. All right, let's watch this liberal Christians versus conservative Christians middle ground. Oh, brother. You already have an agenda. And you're trying to fit the Bible into that agenda. Without the gospel, people are going to hell. And that's a very serious issue, more serious than sexual orientation or aborted babies. What to you is a good Is this dude a conservative? It says in Romans. Oh my, of course. Oh, come on. Come on, dude. We just started. Why do. Bro, I, I swear to God, dude. It it's like it's like a meme. Mm -hmm. Now, to speak more on diversity, I present tonight's speaker, Mr. Douglas Jackson. Mm. But, like, literally, dude. I mean, come on. On, dude, down to the fucking shades, brother. What? The Republican Andrew three Party that Hussein Abbey stand. embodies Christian values more than the Democratic Party. None of the progressives can get up and say yes to that, right? Come on. Yeah, the delusional fucking conservative Christians are gonna say that, but like, it is one of the most psychotic things. Okay, nowhere. And I mean, nowhere in any Abrahamic religion, unless you're literally talking about the Old Testament, does conservative Republican uh, mentality ever fit in to uh, that yeah. worldview. I don't know a whole bunch about politics, but when I see like pro-life, things like that, I would have to just deduce from that that Republican is more Christ-centered. Right, I'm not talking about big government versus small government yeah. regulations. I'm talking about- Republicans are more Christ-centered? Get the fuck out of here, dude. Specifically, pro-life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, it's so it is so incredibly Christ-like to literally deny people health care. It's incredibly Christ-like to fucking never turn the other cheek. And as a matter of fact, utilize the state monopoly on violence on some of the most marginalized people in the society. It is so Christ-like to fucking, you know, not heal the lepers, but instead let them fucking starve to death, dude. There is nothing Christ-like or Christian-like about the Republican Party. I, like you, have been in not poverty but in situations where i couldn't afford health insurance universal health care is the most christ-like thing i can imagine oh, there was a it's, caption? it's I full of compassion it. it's saying yeah maybe you have to take this out of my pocket but it's for the poor who can't afford it i'm like that's jesus to me i don't see what's going on there in regards to abortion specifically i do think that that is someone's future in there and i think that the choice between if that future is played out or not is god's and I take that from Psalms where it says that his eyes... Yeah, it's God's choice. It's also God's choice to allow Planned Parenthood abortion clinics to exist so that you can go ahead and get a fucking abortion if you want to. He saw our substance being yet unformed, and he fashioned our days when yet there were none of them. And so the moment at conception when that baby exists, no matter how small they are, their whole future is lined up. And I know that sometimes circumstances on how those babies come about suck. And I've met someone that was a product of that, okay? They're- The fuck, dude, is like, I'm an abortion survivor, brother. Yeah, me too. Fun fact, I'm literally an abortion survivor. I mean, and I don't even mean like as a joke. I, I'm gonna butcher the story a little bit, but under the NHS, when my dad was uh, getting his doctorate in London School of Economics, my mom was pregnant with me. They went to their doctor and the doctor literally said, like, he's not going to survive. And they thought about uh, aborting me. And then they ended up surviving. That doesn't change the reality that I think abortions are fucking poggers, dude. Abort all the way, baby. Abort all the fucking way. Woo! Fuck abortion survivors. What about the mother that finds out that she's pregnant and she goes to the hospital and they tell her that it's a high risk pregnancy and that if she does take the baby to term that she runs the risk of, of giving birth and actually dying. I think that in those circumstances, in those situations, I think that they should trust the Lord. So what if the Lord tells you? Yeah, dude, no, yeah, you're, you're a fucking Christian scientist. Like you're, oh yeah, we should fucking trust the Lord. Like fuck medicine, dude. We should just pray it away. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. How about you trust the Lord? I trust modern medicine, okay? Suck my dick. Read a different book, bitch. To the liberals, I say, read a different book. It's not just Harry Potter. There's more books out there. And to the conservatives, I say, read a different book. What is this fucking, I only read the Bible and I trust the Lord bullshit. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Hold on, I got an abortion. My leg up. I'm just going to have to say trust the Lord and I'm not a woman. I will never be put in that place. So 
And I ask that because I have a, I have a friend that his daughter um, went through that and he chose his daughter over the baby. And so they ended up having an abortion and he was pro-life prior to that circumstance. See, this is a great video. And the reason why it's a great video is because you see the problem isn't necessarily like being religious. The problem is what kind of conservative brain disease you have, okay? That's it. It's not religion that's the problem. It's the fucking conservatism that is the problem. It's a perfect example of this. Bitch don't wear, this bitch don't wear a seatbelt because she trusts the Lord. This, yeah, exactly. LGBTQ plus couples should be allowed to get married in the church. Well, I do believe that homosexuality is a sin. I can't tell you what you can, can or can't do with your life. And I do think that you should have the same rights that I have in the same way that I have the right to believe differently. I have to also extend that right to you. Well, I'm married to a wonderful man. And so, um, so of course I would have to agree with that LGBT people should um, be allowed to get married in the church. When I was deep in evangelicalism, the narrative was being gay as a sin. And then I saw the church sort of like Praying soften up or tonight. change the narrative to, okay, being gay isn't a sin. God but made being you trans gay. is, right? but you can never act on homosexuality. That's the sin. The oh, the Ben Shabibo, the Ben Shabibo take. Hey, if you're gay, if you're gay and an Orthodox Jew, then just don't be gay anymore. But again, I don't see the harm. I see beautiful couples like this gentleman here. So when we look at suicidal ideation, we look at trans women being murdered because of the bigotry in this nation, a lot propagated by Christians, evangelicals, conservatives. I respect totally as individuals, as Americans, I think you have rights. However, I have to go based off of the Bible and the Bible equates homosexuality to sexual immorality. And so I, I care about you guys as, as people, that, that's, not gonna, that's not gonna make me justify. I, I know that you mentioned like murders and suicide rates. I, I, I don't agree with any of that and I think that's terrible. But why do you think those are happening? You can no longer say, I, that's horrible what's happening over there because this theology is the basis of that suicidal ideation in many cases. It is the basis of transphobia in many cases. If you see all of this atrocious pain we're causing the LGBTQ plus community, then we need to look at the plank in our own eye and say, wait, why is this happening? There's a verse that mentions Fucking all of the people who won't enter the kingdom. Dude, how, do you, how are you a conservative Christian who watch this video and not recognize it? Your side is getting fucking cumpstered on, dude. The word homosexuality is not even entered into biblical text until probably like the 1900s. Yup! In the original text, Arsenokoitai and Malakoi are in our English rendition. Correct. It says homosexuality, but those literally translate to pedophilia. It's Correct. a relationship between an older man and his young son. So the verses that say a man shall not sleep with another man for it is an abomination that there's no word for homosexuality in that. It's just no dude sleep with other dude. I, I can see how you can see that relating to First Timothy passage, but if you look at Romans chapter 1, verse 26 and 27, it's clearly in context, it's talking about quote-unquote unnatural relations. It doesn't say homosexual, but it's talking about men having committing acts with other men. Yeah, well, the, the problem with that is that, so in Romans, that's Paul writing. Right. Um, and so Paul that's is, God writing. Yes. No, it's Paul writing. No, it's, it's God. So, so, oh, well, that's a whole nother thing. Yeah. So, so Paul, Paul, Paul wrote letters to churches. Right. I, I respect what you say, believe, but God's you're voice. clearly saying that it's not the same thing. No, no, no. You didn't let me finish. Okay, finish. You, Sorry. Um, oh my God. They're like, I forgot that Bible sweat lords exist, by the way. This is like, this is the Bible equivalent of like theory nerds. You know what I mean? Who are like, oh, I'm actually sweaty. Meh, meh, Karl Marx said this. Like, this is what they fucking Bible debate lords, dude. Oh my God. Weebs for the Bible. I guess they're pastors, so they're supposed to be Bible weaves. The text says natural affection. Well, my natural affection is not towards a woman. My natural affection is towards a man. There are dividing things in the Bible, and progressives want to get rid of that because they want to focus on God loves you, accepts you, and puts his arms around you. But in the process, have also watered down the gospel. Sounds kind of gay, dude. Seems like God's a little... 
God's a little sus, bro. Fellas, is it gay? Is it gay if God is all around us and you're jerking off, you're jerking your meat, and God's technically there jerking your meat with you? I don't know, man. Seems kind of sus, bro. You have to be very careful when we talk about the literalism of the Bible, because if we do that, then basically everyone in this room is sinning because we have mixed tweeds on. Do we know the context of Leviticus? Yes, I know the context. Well, why not allow for context in Leviticus, but are, not context? Talk, well, no, what I'm context. saying is Leviticus, the law. He said we can't be literal. We can't take the Bible in a literal sense. And then my dude's response was, do you know the context for Leviticus? How do you not? Oh, God, conservatism is just actually conservatism is, is a brain disease. Here is yet another example well, of why. If you're not looking for context in other instances because they uh, correspond to your worldview, but you're looking for context in like the in, in one because you want to wear mixed tweeds and shit, then no, you're a fucking dipshit. Like you're a moron who is not recognizing that like context is OK for one thing, but context is not OK for the other. Like, fuck off. All that came was for the people of Israel when they were rescued from the captivity of Egypt. But we see in Jeremiah 31, 31, that the Lord says that he will build a new covenant oh. under the house of Judah and under the house of Israel, right. which is still scripture. Right. So if we go based off of what we see in so, Exodus and Leviticus, that law is gone. But you're allowing for context and history, right. which you for don't thing, allow for. Not for another thing, that's not fair. The funniest thing is like, the Bible mentions helping the poor and needy a gorillion times more than it mentions anything else. Like you have to fucking reach to different levels and like uh, reinterpret certain things to be like, it's a sin to be a homosexual or it's a sin to do this. It's a sin to fucking, uh, you know, use contraceptives, stuff like that. Old Testament shit, right? You're literally hyper-focusing on shit that is uh, disputed on whether or not it fucking even exists in the Bible while simultaneously completely avoiding parts that are like, no, 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 you need to do this. You need to help the poor for sure. Like you need to, always help the poor why why are you if you're avoiding like 75 percent of the fucking bible to focus on the 25 percent that you made up half the time then you're not a fucking christian you're you're a piece of shit i'm not gonna be a literalist here but please don't be offended because i do admire your courage in coming out but i believe homosexuals will not be in heaven right I believe homosexuals transgenders people who break the speed limit will all go to heaven if they put their faith in jesus christ as their person <laughs> wait Homosexuals, transgenders, people who break the speed limit. Thing. What part of the Bible was like, there needs to be, you, thou shall not violate the speed limit, dude. But, but when they get to heaven, they will no longer be homosexuals. They will no longer be lawbreakers. They will no longer be drunks based on 1 Corinthians 6 Correct. verse 9. We can actually see what God's will is clearly based on what it is in heaven. So when it comes to tendencies with homosexuality, that's something that I've dealt with since yeah, I was my third month. However, I don't choose to identify with those tendencies that are within me. I choose to identify with what the Bible declares that I am. And are you miserable? No, no, not at all. You're not? If no, because you the joy the of the Lord is my strength. You better not be going over 10 miles Could per hour. Could I hours. ask a, of an invasive question? You can say no. <laughs> are you bisexual? No. There is a big possibility I may never get married. Okay. Oh, no, he's gay. Oh, no, that sucks. That's a Rick Perry line, dude. See, this is, ah, this is the worst part. Look, 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 look. This is the worst part of fucking, like, conservatism. Again, not religious, not religion in general, but conservatism. When you admit that you're, like, actually gay or you have homosexual tendencies and you're not acting on them. I've been on this planet 29 years. Haven't had the urge to suck a dick. If you have that urge probably act on it you know what i mean it's however i don't choose to identify with those tendencies that are within me i choose to identify with what the bible declares that i am and are you miserable no no not at Jesus all not. Was no because the joy of the lord is my strength could i ask a of an invasive question you can say no <laughs> are you bisexual no there is a big possibility i may never get married okay there's so a big possibility you may get, never get married because of what because I choose to trust in the Lord and I choose to do as the scripture says and believe as the scripture says. So do you have inclinations and desires to like, to be with the guy? I have desires and inclinations to follow the voice of the Lord. That's a lot of self-control to say basically you're down to have a life of celibacy. It's not self-control, man. It's, it's sickness. It's so sad. Okay, so the radical gays 
You know how I always say, look, if there's a conservative out there, don't fuck him. Like, this dude needs dicking, okay? That's, that's, the, that's what the doctor just prescribed him, okay? Dr. Hossie just, just prescribed to you some good old dick or bussy. I was kind of nervous about it a little bit, but yeah. I feel like it's a topic that's a lot more in the dark when it comes to the church. And I don't know, I just feel like we need to move forward in a different approach than the way we've been going because it does break my heart seeing people committing suicide. Yeah, I feel bad for this dude now. And, and hearing about some of the violent conclusions that some people's lives have gotten to. I feel like if anybody has any reason to find like an explanation for how I could get around scripture and marry a male, it just, I just can't, I, I can't, can't Could I also that. just- That's so sad, dude. The upside of this though, is that like, once this dude is finally like, fuck it, you know, fuck it, I'm gonna do gay stuff, like, once he gets to that point, he's going to be so happy. Hopefully he will. He's, he's still young. Let's ask you where you received that message for the first time. Some people in church that would say like, you know, that that was a choice. And, and I realized that I had no control over what I like or what I don't like. Literally, I don't. And I can agree with you with that. I think the choice comes in is choosing to identify with those beliefs and choosing to identify with tendencies inside of you. That's where I believe it com becomes sin. For me, I tried to suppress that um, for years. I, you know, um, I had a girlfriend. I, I did all of these different. I mean, he just admitted that he's gay. He basically just admitted it. He knows it. That's so sad. He said not bi, actually. Yeah, he did say not bi. So like definitely gay. Different things. And it was like, oh no, it's a sin. It's that. But I had a revelatory moment when the church and the sucks and anti-psychotics have had the opposite put him over here on we don't want him with anybody kick him out do that it wasn't no one showed me the authentic love of christ but you know who showed me the authentic love of christ my friends who were gay i had to go to counseling because of what the church did to me i really hope this dude can help the other dude holy shit! and the counselor is the one who was not a christian helped me to understand People in the church hurt you, not God. And so because God did not hurt me, I could stand in a church and get married to a man. Because God did not hurt me, I can stand up every Sunday and preach to transgender, straight people, gay people. I can do all of that because of the authenticity of who and what I know God is. Jesus would protest for the Black Lives Matter movement. Wait, what? Jesus cares so much. What? Why would you not? What? Oh, no. Oh, the fucking black conservatives didn't even, he didn't even hear it. I'm going to tell you exactly what uh, the, the two conservative Christians are going to say. No, because Black Lives Matter is about Marxism. No, because Black Lives Matter is not about Black Lives, blah, blah, blah. It's actually Jesus would protest that all lives matter protest or whatever. But what is that? I don't even know what that is. Much about everyone that I think that he, he made, we see him making stance, stances, um, especially in the Synoptic Gospels. You know, throughout text, we see him like actually standing up for people. Right, the Gospel is not about Black Lives Matter, but Jesus often stood up for those who are oppressed, for those who are discarded, those who are marginalized. I'm not saying everything about the Black Lives Matter is perfect or good, as if any movement is, but he would stand up for those who are voiceless. So. Yeah, she's going to say all lives matter. She's going to pull it. Jesus was My all lives matter. My struggle with not stepping forward was really like, we all have a different voice and a way that we can protest in a way that would be best. Like, I had a newborn child, so I couldn't get out on the streets because of corona. Like, mm. that's why I wasn't there. So anyone that wasn't there, I wouldn't say was on the wrong side of history. It's, but it was like, what are you doing to actively advocate in your life? Are you educating yourself about white supremacy? Are you becoming actively anti-racist? I wouldn't envision like Jesus what? out there with like a sign because I do believe that did she misunderstand the question? That wasn't the question. The question wasn't, did you go out and protest? The fuck does that have to do with Jesus? Is Jesus pregnant? Like, what's happening? Black lives matter. I do believe that all lives matter, but I don't think I need to Called protest it. in order for me to prove that. I mean, I get it. Historically, if this happened in the first century and something like a Black Lives Matter was happening, I don't think Jesus would be part of that because that was not part of his mission. That's not. But 
today. What? Why wouldn't Remember he protest against fucking state Jesus, violence, dude? Would well, Jesus want me to be part of it as he's living his life through me? Then I would answer yes, to stand up for those who are oppressed. The other side misrepresents Christianity. I feel misrepresented in that um, I often say that the evangelical or conservative church has built an idol to sexual purity and sexual integrity, which is why the gay issue is so high on the agenda and the pro-choice, pro-life issue. The Bible is not a sex manual, but so often I see it being presented as like the utmost issue. And what we are talking about earlier about social justice and all of these other beautiful things that I believe Jesus would be a part of, you know, Jesus himself was not harping on people's sexuality constantly. Misrepresented because, like you said, you think it's about the issues like sexuality or social justice. I feel like because they want to accept, because they want people to know about the love of God, they're mis misrepresenting the love of God. And that's what conservatives care about, the word of God and the gospel. Again, I go back to like the inerrancy of, of scripture, which I see a lot in conservative church. I do not believe the words of Paul are the words of God. And that's, that's definitely where we veer off for a lot of people. That's a big thing. Like we believe that just all scripture, including that which Paul wrote, was inspired by God, and so. No, I believe it's all inspired by God, but I don't believe it's literally God. The only reason I'm going in on this is to clarify that we love and honor the Bible too. We really do. I read my Bible every single day, and I think that is the thing that most conservatives don't understand about progressives more than anything. Welcome. When I, when I pastor my love church, you, and they're having a hard time understanding the scriptures, I'm gentle with them because they're trying to learn. But I feel I could be harsh with progressive Christians because if, they, if you claim to be a Christian, you should know better. And I believe, especially after this talk, you don't know how to interpret the word. You are dishonoring God because you are not doing his will. Now, I firmly well, believe that because saying the word of God is not absolute or sovereign. You're saying and you're picking and choosing based on your interpretation. But you're picking and choosing, motherfucker. You got polyester and shit. Again, everybody picks and chooses. You can't just be like, oh, no, I'm taking the word of God no matter what. And then, like, simultaneously pick and choose. Like, bitch, if you go to Red Lobster, like, you're a sinner, okay? You can't just be like, nah, dude. Actually, like, I don't really care about all the times that, like, Jesus fucking helped those who are less fortunate than them and, like, the marginalized but I do care about the parts where, you know, I interpret it as like being anti, anti-gay. You, everyone always picks and chooses. That's my point. Okay. Everyone always picks and chooses. Religion can be wielded for good like it is in like liberation theology uh, that has played a, a significant role in uh, social progress in the United States or, or even uh, in other places around the world. Or religion can be used for bad, like justifying, uh, uh, conquest, crusades, yada, yada, yada. Ultimately, the problem there isn't religion. The problem uh, there is the power structures, material interests that uh, those in positions of power have. Religion is just being used as a weapon there. Okay? I think your hermeneutics is off. See, the, my church members are trying to learn, but it seems like you already have an agenda. And you're trying to fit the Bible into that agenda instead of accepting the gospel for what it is, that without the gospel- That's projection, by the way. That's literally all conservatives do. If you are a Republican and you're a Christian, you are literally fitting the Bible to your agenda. Most people do this regardless. It's a very human thing to do, but it is especially true for conservatives. Again, religion is supposed to give you a set of, it's supposed to offer you a moral code, a code of conduct. That code of conduct in every single fucking religion universally is, it has a, a, a set of basic issues and, or a set of basic principles, right? And those basic principles revolve around being kind to one another, doing what's right, da da da. And that goes completely against conservatism, both in its theory and also in its application. Individual liberty is not more important than the collective good. No religion is like individual liberty is, uh, should be at the heart of our concerns like because humans are inherently selfish as individuals human beings human beings uh, do uh, care about self-preservation so all matter of moral codes and, and guidances that have come throughout time literally go against that because the entire purpose of human existence and societal development literally revolves around 
fighting that selfish nature that we have with selflessness. The code of conduct that has been put forward that pushes us towards uh, societal development, that pushes us towards like coexisting with one another is always going to go against that like inherently selfish uh, act uh, that we engage in. So of course religion is going to be fucking anti-conservative. You can't have religion be conservative because there are a lot of conservative hyper-individualistic points of view that we have without factoring in the benefits of mutual aid. But even if you think about like, even if you think about mutual aid, there is still a selfish reason for why you engage in mutual aid. We aren't inherently selfish. Those studies show that disaster victims always... No, but we... We care about ourselves. We care about self-preservation. Selfishness is, I guess, a manifestation of our of our uh, self-interested nature. I think human beings are self-interested. We're not in. I shouldn't have used inherently selfish. I should have said human beings are self-interested. Okay. But it is in your best interest to help others. And some people recognize that. Other people need a little bit more fucking uh, effort. A lot of people, when put in a position of like immediate turmoil and death and destruction hey, yeah, yeah. recognize the power in collective action and that's why the people that were crying like oh read look at sociology like people actually are very uh, helpful to one another in times of need and i think it's terrible that people took scripture out of context because all man was created in the likeness of god all men all men all people so when they were quoting verses about slavery they disregarded what was said in genesis in the beginning that all people were created in the likeness of God. If all men were created... In Damn, bro. God is gay as fuck then, homie. What are you saying right now? Since, you know, you are. In the image of God, then that, that's gay people, that's transgender people, that's um, African-American people, that's Asian people, that's... All, you, You're talking you, about race, sexual identity. Those are completely different no, things. No, they're all... I don't... Here's the thing. Whether I choose to walk outside and identify as being black or not, I got black skin. Whether I choose to identify- Wait, you just admitted earlier that you can't- You're not choosing to fucking like what you like though. Dude. I, with behaviors on how I feel is a completely different thing. Well, that's when you go into- Oh my God, he just fucking- Dude, what are the brain worms that are in operation here inside of his fucking mind? He literally personally said, like, I don't choose to like what I like. That's actually a certainty. I guess, like, God fucking hated him extra. That's why he made him gay. So he could, like, constantly fucking want to get dick, but then stop himself from doing it every goddamn day because God wanted to test him. God damn, dude. This shit is brain worms, like, low-key. But again, I hope that this was a- teachable moment for uh some of you that uh constantly fucking chirp about like religion is fucking brain poisoning blah, 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 blah. like no it is the conservatism that's the problem okay religion could be for religion could be for a good cause and it could be for bad okay so just because in most circumstances those in positions of power have misused religion and utilized it as a way to as a way to justify their horrific and oftentimes uh anti-religious sacrilegious agenda does not change that reality Anyway, uh, top of the hour, every hour, six second hour break. I'm going to do that right now. And then uh, I am going to have Noel. I think he's like already in the fucking chat uh, or he might already be in the discord. I'm going to run the ad currently. And then after that, we're going to do Chad voice, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to.